Welcome to the final project. In this one, you will learn a bunch of new exciting technologies. First of all, you will learn how to do real-time speech recognition in Python. Then you will learn how to use the OpenAI API and build a virtual assistant or chatbot. And finally, you will learn a little bit about WebSockets and how to use async IO in Python. So I think this is going to be really fun. And first of all, let me show you the final project. So now when I run the code, I can start talking to my bot and ask questions. What's your name? How old are you? What's the best ice cream? And you see this works. So I think this is super exciting. So now let's get started. All right, so here I have a new project folder and again we have our API secrets file and now a new main.py file. And the first thing we're going to do is set up real-time speech recognition. And for this we have a detailed blog post on the assembly AI blog. This will walk you through this step by step. So first of all we need Pi Audio to do the microphone recording. So this is the very same thing that we learned in part one. Then we use WebSockets and then we use the Assembly AI real-time speech recognition feature that works over WebSockets and then we create a function to send the data from our microphone recording and also a function to receive the data and then we can do whatever we want with this. So, but in order to just copy and paste this, let's actually code this together. So let's get started. Um, one note here, in order to use the real-time feature, you need to upgrade your account though. So yeah, but anyway, let's get started. So let's import all the things we need. So we want um, Pi Audio again, then we need um, WebSockets. So we say import WebSockets. And this is a third party library that I showed you in the beginning that makes it easy to work with WebSockets. And this is built on top of async IO. So now we're going to, to build async code. Then we also import async IO. We also import base64. So we need to encode the data to a base64 string before we send this. And then we import JSON to receive the JSON result. And then we say from API secrets, we import our API key from assembly AI. And now the first thing we set up is um, set up our microphone recording. So for this, we use the exact same code that we learned in part one. So I simply copy and paste this part from here. So let's copy and paste. Um, so we set up our parameters, then our Pi Audio instance, and then we create our stream. And now we need to define the URL for the WebSocket. And we can find this on the blog post homepage. So here I can copy and paste the URL. So the URL is at WebSockets and then assemblyai.com and then real time. And then the last part is also important. So here we say question mark sample rate equals 16,000. So this is the same rate that we use here. So make sure to align this with what you have. And now we create one function to send and receive the data. And this is a async function. So we say async def and we call the send receive. So this is responsible for both sending and receiving the data. And now we connect to the WebSocket and we do this with a async context manager. So again, we say async and then with and then WebSockets dot connect. And now we specify the parameters URL. Then we say a, we set a ping timeout and we can set this to 20, for example. Then we want a ping interval, and this should be five. And then we also need to send our authorization token. So the key or the parameter for this is extra headers. And this is a dictionary with the key authorization, and the value is our token. And then we say async with, S and then we can call this what we want. So I say underscore WS for WebSocket. 
Then first we wait to let this connect. So here we say await async io async io dot sleep 0.1. So be careful here, we cannot use time.sleep. So we are inside a async function. So we have to use the async sleep function. And then we um, wait or we, we try to connect and wait for the result. So we say um, session underscore begins equals and then again await underscore w s and then this is called r e s v for receive i guess and then we can print the data and see how this looks let's also print um sending messages and now um we need two inner functions so again a async function so we say async def send and for now we simply say pass and then we say async def receive and here also we pass and actually these are both uh, these both will have a infinite while true loop so they will run infinitely and listen for incoming data so here we say while true and for now let's just print um, sending and here we also say while true and here we simply pass so I don't want to spoil our output and now after this we need to combine them in a async I always so in order to do this we say um, we call the gather function so it's called async io dot gather and now here we gather send and receive and this will return two things so the send result and the receive result so actually we don't need this but just in case we have this here and now um, after defining this function of course we also have to run the code and we have to run this in an infinite loop and in order to do this we call async io and then dot run and then our send receive function so um, now this should connect and then should print sending all the time so let's run this and hope that this works so yeah it's already connected and sending works so you see that's why i didn't put the receive in here as well so we get a lot of outputs and yeah i can't even scroll to the top anymore but basically yeah it should have printed this once and then now this is working so far so we can continue implementing these two functions now so now let's implement the send function first and we wrap this in a try except block and now we read the microphone input so we say stream dot read and then we specify the frames per buffer and i also want to say exception on overflow equals false so sometimes when the WebSocket connection is too slow, there might be an overflow and then we have an exception, but I don't want this. Um, it should still work. And then we need to convert this or encode it in base64. So we say base64, b64 encode our data and then we decode it again in utf8. This is what assembly AI expects. Then we need to convert it to a JSON object. So we say JSON dump S and then this is a dictionary with the key audio data. So again, this is what assembly AI needs. And then here we put in the data and then we send this and we also have to await this. So await WS send the JSON data and then we have to catch a few errors. So let's copy this from our blog post. So these ones, let's copy 
and paste this in here. So um, we accept a WebSockets exceptions connection closed error. Then we print the error, then we make sure it's of this code and then we also break and then we catch every other error. So it's not best practice to do it like this, but it's fine for this simple tutorial. And then we assert here and then after each while true iteration, we also sleep again. And yeah, so now we can copy this whole code and paste it into this. So the code is very similar here. Um, so we have the same try except, but now here, of course, we have to wait for the transcription result from assembly AI. So we say result string equals, and then again, we uh, wait and then the W S R E S V. Then we can convert this to a dictionary by saying result equals JSON dot load from a string and here the result string. And now this has a few, so this is a JSON object or now in Python it's a dictionary. So now we can check a few um, keys so we can get the prompt or actually now this is the transcription of what we set. So we say prompt equals results and then it has the key text. And it also has a key that is called message type. So now we check if we have a prompt and if the results and then the key message underscore type. And now um, this should be final transcript. And now what assembly AI is doing, it will, while we are talking, it will already start sending the transcript. And once we finished our sentence, it will do another pass and make a few small corrections if necessary. And then we get the final transcript. So we want only the final transcripts. And now for now, let's print um, me and then let's print the prompt. And now we want to use our chatbot. So now let's print um, bot. And then let's, for now, let's simply print, um, let's print a random text for now. And then we set up this in the next step. But first I want to test this. So let's say this is my answer. And this is all that we need for the receive function. So let's clear this and run this and test this. Oh, we get an error. A wait wasn't used with future async IO gather. Oh, this is a classic mistake. Of course, here I have to say await async IO gather. So let's run this again. And now it's working. So yeah. What's your name? And you see the transcript is working. So now I uh, stop this, but if I scroll up, what's your name? And each time we get this is my answer. So this is working. And now of course here we want to do a clever thing with our prompt and use our virtual assistant. So for this, we now set up OpenAI. So they have a API that provides access to GPT-3. And this can perform a wide variety of natural language tasks. So in order to use this, you have to sign up, but you can do this for free and you get a free, you get free credits. So this will be more than enough to play around with this. And it's actually super simple to set this up. So let's create a new file. And I call this, um, let's call this open AI helper.py. And then we also have to install this. So we have to say pip install open AI. Um, and then we also, after signing up, you get a API token. So we have to copy this in API secrets and then we can use this. 
And now we can import OpenAI and we also need to import our secrets. So from API secrets, we import our API key OpenAI. Then we have to set this. So we say OpenAI.API key equals um, API key. And now we want to do question answering. So the, the OpenAI API is actually super simple to use. So we can click on examples and then we see a bunch of different examples. So OpenAI can do a lot of things, for example, Q&A, grammar correction, text to command, classification, a lot of different stuff. So let's click on Q&A and if we scroll down, then here we find the code example. So we already set our API key and now we need to grab this and um, let's copy this and let's create a helper function. So define and let's call this ask computer and this gets the prompt as input. And now I paste this in here. So we say response equals openai.completion.create. Then here we specify an engine and now we specify the prompt and in our case the prompt is going to be um, the prompt that we put in. So prompt equals prompt from the parameter. And now there are a lot of other different parameters that you could uh, check out in the documentation. So in my case I only want to keep the max token so this will specify how long the result can be and yeah let's say 100 is fine for this and now this is all that we need and now of course we need to um, return the response and this is actually a JSON object again or now a dictionary and we only want to extract the first possible response so it can also send more if you specify this here. So in our case, we only get one. And then we say response and this is in the key um, choices and then the index zero. So the first choice and then the key text. So this will be the actual response from GPT-3. And now in the main, the only thing we have to do is say from open AI helper, we import ask computer. And then down here in the receive functions. And now here we say um, response equals ask computer. And then we put in the prompt and then here this will be our response and now this should be everything that we need so now let's again clear this and run the main.py and let's hope this works what's your name what's your name how old are you Where are you from? All right, so let's stop this again. And yeah, you see this works. And this is how you can build a virtual assistant that works with real-time speech recognition together with OpenAI. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this last project. If you've watched all the way through, thank you so much. And then I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.